Hello everyone. Thanks for watching this video. In this video, today we are going to understand how to find the smallest and the second smallest element of a given integer array. So you will be getting one integer array from user, something like that. In this array, we have to find the smallest element first. So if you see this array, one is the smallest element, okay? And then next task is to find the second smallest element. So one is the smallest and if you second smallest is the two. So our output will be one and two, okay? So again, before watching this uh, video, you always recommended to watch this playlist from API Pothi. We will provide you the link in description. Okay. Yeah. Then let's go ahead. So we have our input ready here. We are going to create one API where we are going to do the actual logic. So actual logic is to get the smallest and second smallest integer okay and here we are going to pass array as a argument so this is your array we are passing as a argument and accordingly we are going to create the api here good as soon as we receive the input from user our task is to secure the input first so we will be having one input local variable where we are assigning this array user array so again we know that we are checking the input so for that we have that array dot to string which will help us to get the data from the input element input array so so let's have one input array sop this will help us to debug the flow so we receive the input which is correct okay now our now our main target is to find the smallest and second smallest element okay so see basic what basic idea is to achieve this output is first what we will do is we will sort this array okay we will sort this input array and we will get the smallest element that i will tell you later but for now our goal is to sort this element for sorting we already know something like that we will be having two for loop and we are comparing if input of i cyclic conversion of j is greater than j from the second element then int temp equal to 0 then temp equal to input of i and input of i equal to input of j and input of j equal to temp okay so we are doing here cyclic conversion okay so finally input array got reverse so instead of white okay now now let's check whether it got reversed or not so we will be checking something like that after reverse okay we are going to print the reversed array we are doing everything into the same array so input array will contain the changes let's print so if you see this is the input array okay and we sorted this array something like that so we are good now so what we will do is we are returning void 
now we are returning going to return integer array and we are going to add return statement which is input and we are going to delete this one we don't need this sop here right since we are returning integer array so we can save this out into the sorted uh, array okay and here we can have sop sorted array array dot to string sorted array okay now if you run this program we will be getting the same output but in we are stabilizing our code good here now our target is to find the smallest element and second smallest element we sorted array if you see if you get the last two in index element then basically we are getting the smallest and the second smallest according to its last element is your smallest and second last element is your second uh, second last element is your second smallest element so for that we are going to write another method called public public static public static void display okay and here we are going to receive the sorted array so what you do is here dot display and we need to pass this sorted array as a argument okay and we have to change the parameters here good so sop how we will get sorted array of fifth element okay just for name sake so if you print the length length minus 1 okay so last element run this program so last element is 1 so what we are doing is we are creating one display method where we are passing the sorted array and in that sorted array we are going to print the last element last means length minus 1 ok so last element if you see 1 we are able to get the 1 and this is your smallest element ok so a smallest element of array let's copy this two and paste it here and cut this one paste it okay good now copy same okay and what is your second element here length minus 2 okay if you run this program now see a smallest element is 1 and second smallest element is 2 how we got we got the last element means length minus 1 and length minus 2 from the sorted array so let me summarize your logic how we did is we got the array first we sort the array we received the sorted and we for display we are passing the the sorted array into the display and if you see the display logic nothing but we are just printing the element from the last element which is we can get it through the length minus one and second last element we will get it from length minus two and which is called a smallest element and the second smallest element 
and that is only we are expecting here as a output okay yeah thanks for watching this video